Yo, what is up guys? We are back today for another live in the OU tier. Today we are using a very interesting team. Uh, I'm not sure when we use this. I think this is uh, Dom's team, Dom ga uh, Dom's game room uh, that he passed me. It's got a... Uh, I think we actually made it together if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, I think we uh, we were all together in a call and we made this team together. And it's a pretty cool team. Uh, it's a little bit weak to Rotom Wash, as we found out uh, with time. But we have a Mega Venusaur. It's just that you, you have a hard time switching into it. And uh, you, you also can't set up with your Gator as long as that thing's around. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I think I believe we are banded Tyrantrum. We'll see when we get into a game. We'll try to find one right away. But uh, yeah, Pokemon has not been very kind to me lately, guys. Uh, I'm not having a, a good time laddering. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a couple of wins this episode. I don't even know. But let's see. Tyrantrum is choice scarfed. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. It's not very good this matchup because of the hippo. But actually, other than the hippo, nothing really wants to switch in on a banded head smash. Now, does it? So once we weaken that thing, uh, not a banded head smash, uh, any head smash for that matter. Um, I think Klefki is just a very good lead here, getting up hazards early, uh, as Hippo is going to lead as well. And I'm going to go for Spikes turn one, and not uh, not Magnet Rise, just because Earthquake is kind of obvious. There's the Stealth Rocks, there we go. We're going to go for the Magnet Rise this turn, and he's not going to be able to hit us with the uh, Earthquake. And we're going to be able to get up another layer of Spikes on this thing. His hazard removal is that Excadrill. Charizard's actually going to come in here. This is perfectly fine. I want to Thunder Wave this thing as early as possible. So if he wants to stay in here, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'll I'll let Klefki go down. I got up two layers of spikes, which pressures pretty much everything on the team other than this and the Dragonite. And I have a paralyzed Charizard in front of me. So this is going to be a much easier game. All right. So now Tyrantrum obviously doesn't do too well against the Hippo. So I have to think about what I want to do here. Um, what, what do we go for? What do we go for? Do we set up rocks with Infernape? Uh, no, that's a bad play. Yeah, Tyrantrum's the play every time. We don't have another. Uh, I, I could have gone into Gator, but I don't think Waterfall even takes this thing out uh, because of the sun. I'm not sure, though. And he still has the, uh, the Amoongus in the back, so don't really want to do that. Uh, I think I might actually just go for Outrage and try to two-hit KO the Hippowdon um, as Head Smash is resistant. And yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for an Outrage right here and attempt to two-hit KO Hippo as it's co it comes in, and we get the Sand Boost. We're going to go for the Outrage. If this doesn't two-hit KO, then we are probably going to go down to an Earthquake right here. He might just slack off the damage, though, which would be a good play on my opponent's part. We'll see, though. Uh, we do get confused to turn two, which is really nice because now we can actually switch into whatever we choose, really. Um, I don't want to go directly into Infernape because an Earthquake is coming my way, more than likely. I'm actually just going to go into Mandibuzz here, as uh, I can pretty much wall this thing. Uh, Earthquake, if he has Stone Edge, then so be it, but let's just go for a Foul Play. Let's see how much it actually does. Uh, he's going to switch into his Charizard, actually. Okay, interesting. Um, foul play is actually still going to do a lot of damage because this thing doesn't have like feeble attack and um, uh, and its defense its physical defense is not that great so I can actually just fire off another foul play right here weaken his Charizard even further and he misses a focus blast unfortunately which was not the move to go for flamethrower is stronger on Mandibuzz so I'm not fully understanding that play and now with the Charizard weakened uh, I don't I don't have as much of a necessity to get up rocks anymore so, I have to uh, weigh my options with my Infernape. Uh, Weavile is more than likely coming in here. I don't see the Dragonite coming in and trying to set up on me. Weavile does come in, but it is weakened thanks to the spikes. Thank you very much. And we can go into uh, Infernape on this thing, or we can go for a Roost on the Icicle Crash and let this thing hurt itself to... Um to life orb damage that's also an option we do also have brave bird on this pokemon which is kind of cool um for like breloom and, and things like that so let's go for the uh, switch into infernape i think it's perfectly fine no move is going to knock us out icicle crash does 39 so still a very respectable amount and because we do have we do have the Mach Punch, but we also have Overheat to be able to hit the Hippo, which is really nice right now. I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I could have gone for Endeavor right there to weaken the Hippo and then gone for an Overheat, but I just think this is a better play overall. Uh, I'm going to keep Infernape because of the Mach Punch pressure on 
Weavile, and Excadrill. And I have to make sure that I go out into a Pokemon right here that can take on the Excadrill and not allow it to spin. And I think that that thing would be for Alligator. Yeah, for Alligator is good. Uh, and we can set up predicting a switch into a Moongus uh, afterwards. He actually chooses to go directly in Excadrill, which is interesting. All right. Uh, I don't think Earthquake takes us out. I'm just going to Waterfall here. Should he choose to spin, we still have our rocks online. And we'll be able to get rid of the Excadrill, which basically... Uh, shuts down most of the rest of the team if we had aqua jet right here We would go for it. So I don't necessarily see my opponent staying in I think switching into a Moongus is an all-around safe play uh, To cover the water move. I could also go for a dragon dance though, which would pretty much seal up the game uh, He does choose to go for rapid spin and get rid of the hazards, which is a good play uh, We're gonna go for a waterfall right there. We're not gonna take life orb dam damage obviously because of sheer force uh, and we do have Ice Punch online for the Dragonite. Amoongus chooses to come in. We can freely switch into either Mandibuzz on the Spore or uh, Venusaur on the on the Spore as well. I think Mandibuzz is just an overall better play. As uh, we can check the Dragonite, we can check the uh, Hippowdon relatively well. And we can also defog the rocks away, which is more, more along the lines of what I want to do right now. Uh, Venusaur is looking like a very good Pokemon to clean up this game once we damage the Dragonite. And uh, Spore is going to come in. Overcoat is going to prevent that. And we are going to be able to get off a of Defog right here. If my opponent chooses to go for Sludge Mom, that's perfectly fine. I just want to get these rocks out of here. And uh, Hippo comes back in. Okay. So gets rid of our rocks. And assuming that my opponent might want to put them back up, I'm going to go back in a Gator here. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is Dragon Dance up and then go for an Ice Punch on his Amoongus if he chooses to bring that in. As he does, and we are going to get a Dragon Dance off. And I'm going to get off a lot of damage with this Ice Punch right here. I'm not even going to switch out. I'm going to Oko the Amoongus. There we go. And we are faster than the Weavile. We're faster than the Hippalodon. But I think maybe... Actually, I have to calc this right now. Uh, let's see for Alligator. And I don't know if we're adamant or what we are, but you, you Dragon Dance is normally adamant against Dragonite. Oh, you Dragon Dance. Ice Punch, that's with the multi scale. So at plus one, we take this thing out. We take it straight out. It goes down. So goodbye, Dragonite. And uh, Weavile and Hippowdon go down. So that's the power of Feraligator and OU, guys. Don't underestimate it. It can do a lot of damage if you let it set up even one Dragon Dance. Uh, be very careful with this Pokemon. We're going to go up to 1680 here. I uh, don't know if we're in top 500 yet. If we're not, we're almost there. That's for sure. And, oh, that wasn't supposed to come up. <laughs> that's uh, my Skype with the... Uh, with the NBA right there. So you guys, uh, anyway, most of the people that are sub to me are in the NBA, so you, you guys probably don't care, but that's uh, a little bit unprofessional. I, cl I clicked the notification trying to close it on the bottom right of my screen. I should probably be on Do Not Disturb. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to pause the video, guys, waiting to get a second battle, and we'll be right back. Oh, we got one, but I'm still going to pause it anyway. All right, so my opponent has, um, I wouldn't say a very similar team to ours, but just the fact that it's a Mega Venusaur team, the, uh, the Rocks lead with uh, Garchomp is this very uh, similar I guess typings and he's got the water type and Starmie and anyway um, I think what's my best lead Infernape's my best lead against this team because it outspeeds the um, the Garchomp and the Landorus lead if they're not scarfed of course and we get up rocks and we follow it up with Endeavor to bring them very low and then we can knock them out with pretty much anything after. So that's uh, that's basically where I'm going with this. And uh, should they attack me on the first turn, of course, that's where... Uh, I don't know if this thing is actually going to attack me on the first turn. We'll see. Uh, we'll go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Get them up. As my opponent chooses to U-turn, okay. P uh, potentially predicting a Sash. Uh, goes into Starmie. Cool. Um, don't really want to stay in on this thing. Okay, Cliff Key, you're not bad. Tyrantrum puts in a lot of work. I don't know if I want to switch directly into it. I could just fire off an Outrage. We still have the Landorus. Um, the Landorus is definitely not Scarfed. So I think my play here is actually Venusaur, because this thing has Leftovers, right? So it's probably a defensive variant. Psyshock doesn't do too much. And we're going to basically pressure this thing out with Venusaur. 
and uh, we'll be able to go for the uh, sludge bomb right here. We won't go for sleep powder because uh, my opponent does have their own Mega Venusaur in the back. I assume it's Mega. <laughs> I don't expect Mega Titar, but uh, does go into Gengar. Okay, so good play. Could have sleep powdered, but it's fine. Uh, that's probably what we're going to do right here. Uh, Sludge Wave is going to do a lot, but if should we connect this sleep powder, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, and now expecting the T-Tar to come in on our Synthesis. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I went for Giga Drain for that reason. Uh, expecting the T-Tar to come in on block our Synth uh, recovery. But my opponent actually chooses to go into Landorus, so that's fine. Uh, now I can Synthesis up. Definitely. And uh, not worry too much. We're whittling down the team. The Gengar is asleep, which is really good for Venusaur. I think Venusaur can win this game on its own. My opponent is actually Soft Sand Earthquake. So, uh, actually, hold on a second. Isn't U-Turn Quad resisted by Infernape? Let's get an Infernape all-out attacker versus a Landorus. Uh, defensive. Not defensive. Offensive. Come on. U-Turn's not supposed to do that much. This thing is banded. All right, well, that's great info. Uh, we're going to switch into Manda Buzz here. My opponent predicts that, and I guess, and goes into T-Tar. Uh, which is okay. This is more than likely. Well, he's got three potential stealth rockers. That's the thing. Uh, like these three behemoths on the same team Tyranitar, Landorus, and Garchomp. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a foul play and see how much it actually does. Uh, it doesn't do too much. Uh, Stone Edge is gonna come in and miss, unfortunately, from my opponent. I'm actually gonna switch into Clef Key here and start putting on some pressure with Spikes. Uh, goes for another Stone Edge. That's fine. My opponent is not Life Orb, so I don't know what set this is. I could T-Wave. Uh, I think Thunder Waving is actually the correct play here. I'll be able to slow down the Tyranitar. Goes for Earthquake, okay. Interesting play. I do have the Magnet Rise, but I am gonna go for a layer of Spikes here instead. My opponent chooses to go into Starmie, uh, and Natural Cure means that uh, my opponent will be able to, um, to get rid of the Paralysis, so there's no point in going for that. I'm gonna go for another layer of Spikes. Um, my opponent goes for a Rapid Spin, so basically giving me Leftovers Recovery, which is good. Uh, that Rapid Spin did 1.3, so yeah, we're, we're gaining health, basically. Uh, I am going to just Thunder Wave this thing, forcing a switch at some point, basically. The Scald comes through, leaves us at 4%, luckily does not get a burn. I'm going to go for the Spike, and after the Scald, my Venusaur is now pressuring this thing again. So I'm going to go into Venusaur, and I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain. Should Gengar choose to come in, that's perfectly fine. We did lose our Spiker, but that, that, that's perf that's fine. That's okay with me, because the Spike is still up right now, and my opponent will have to go back into Starmie later to be able to, uh, to get rid of it. So I'm not too upset with that. What I'm going to do on this thing, did it actually uh, work off its initial sleep turn? I don't think it did. Uh, no, it didn't. So we can actually go into Tyrantrum and fire off an Outrage now that we know that the Landorus is not defensive. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Nothing's going to want to take two Outrages, so this is a fine play, in my opinion. We get rid of the Gengar right there, and Landorus can come in, intimidate us, and knock us out now, but actually he chooses to go into Starmie. Uh, I guess not realizing that we're Scarfed. He takes a tremendous amount there. We do get confused, uh, and he goes for a Thunder Wave. Okay, so good play, I guess. That works. Um, for Alligator can win the game, right? Yeah, for Alligator just wins. Uh, we just have to weaken the Venusaur a little bit, I think. Uh, we're going to go for another Outrage right here as my opponent goes for a spin. L hopefully we can break through. We do not, unfortunately. Uh, that did 70%, so I am just going to fire off another one. My opponent goes for a Scald instead of recovering. Uh, we're going to get fully paralyzed on that turn. Once again, very unfortunate. Skull did 43.6, so basically exactly where we're at. Actually, a little bit more than where we're at. Uh, you have Rapid Spin, Skull, Thunder Wave. What else? I don't know. All right. Uh, we're going to let Tyrantrum go down right there. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into our Venusaur. Once again, this thing puts a tremendous amount of pressure on. If my opponent chooses to Thunder Wave, I was going to say, but that's not the case. I'm going to get a Giga Drain off here and knock out the, Star uh, the Starmie, which is nice. We still have our Stealth Rocker, so that's cool. Uh, the Landorus is banded, we know that now, we ran the Calc. I don't know if my opponent figure out that, figured out that I figured that out, but uh, the Tyranitar seems to be a little bit offensive because it's carrying dual coverage. I don't want to do this thing. Um, 
His best move to hit me with his stone edge, right? I'm just gonna drain. I'm just gonna Giga Drain this thing. Uh, I took that a lot better than I expected it to. He misses another edge. Very unfortunate for him. Uh, just gonna go for another drain. Just gonna keep trying to weaken this thing little by little. And uh, he's gonna miss yet another edge. That's crazy. That's insane. Uh, gonna whittle this thing down to 12% to the point where uh, Mandibuzz can now take it out with a foul play. He could get paralyzed. Uh, do I bank on that? And start setting up with Gator. And just win. What do I set up with? I don't set up on anything else otherwise. So I think I have to bank on the para. And try to win this game with Feraligator right now. That's my only way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Dragon Dance. And we'll see if he can land an edge through the para. He actually chooses to go for Crunch, so good play. Uh, we are just going to fire off a Waterfall right here. Knock out the T-Tar. Get rid of the Sand as well, so Feraligator is not taking extra damage. He chooses to go into Garchomp. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Uh, this will be able to knock out Garchomp. It does seem to be a defensive variant. And now Venusaur has to come out. We can go into Infernape. Uh, we have a couple of plays here. We can go into Infernape and try to lower this thing down with an Endeavor. And then knock out his Venusaur and his Landorus later with a uh, with an Ice Punch each. And I think that is my play. I'm going to go into Infernape right here. And uh, he's going to go for a Giga Drain. That's fine. I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. And put pressure on... Oh yes, perfect. Perfect. Yes! Excellent. Look at this. We're at 5%. I'm going to endeavor this Venusaur down to 5. He goes for Synthesis, so I guess he predicted that. That was good. That was good on his part. Uh, I don't know if an Ice Punch, if a Life Orb, uh, Sheer Force Ice Punch can actually take out Venusaur because of the Thick Fat. I have to calc this. Defensive, Venusaur. Actually, we have another tool at our disposal. Defensive. Uh, why did I ran, run that twice? For Alligator. I really want to win this game. Uh, Dragon Dance, Ice Punch does not do nearly enough. Uh, but Mandibuzz's uh, Brave Bird will be doing a lot to this thing. Definitely. This is Stab Brave Bird, and we're able to take it out. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now the Landorus has to lock itself into, the, into something. We did crit that. Uh, it's very unfortunate for him once again. He is Choice Banded. So what I'm going to do right here, um, I'm going to Roost. He's got to go for a Rock Slide. He locks himself in a Rock Slide. He gets the Flinch. Okay. So, uh, he can also miss that, but I'm pretty sure he's banded. If you look at the rock slide damage, like, uh, but he, if he's max speed, he actually outspeeds us, doesn't he? He's 281, right? I think we just messed up. Nope, we didn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> we were able to take out the land race. <laughs> we outsped it there. That was really lucky. Uh, we're in the 1700s now, and we're going to get another game right here. Uh, I've been like losing three, winning three, so this is uh, this is a relief that we were able to pull out that game. A little bit haxy on my uh, on my end. I can't control that though, just like my opponents can't control when they get hacks. Uh, I don't blame that on anybody. It's the game that we play. It's Pokemon in general. It's whether you play on Wi-Fi, whether you play on Showdown. I know it's a little bit contradictive to what I said yesterday on the at the end of the um, the battle for the UPA, but. Uh, whether you play on Showdown or whether you play on uh, on Wi-Fi, any, anywhere you play Pokemon, as long as everything's set correctly, there's going to be hacks, there's going to be moments where uh, you should win the game and you don't because of uh, random events. So My opponent actually has a really cool team with uh, Toxicroak, and he's got a few really good Pokemon surrounding it, like Landorus and Thunderous, um, probably Magnet Rise, Klefki, to deal with ground types. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is looking like a tough matchup for us, actually. Don't exactly know how I'm going to win this. Uh, probably with Gator again. And I think uh, Feraligator might need to get the thumbnail on his own. Maybe with a uh, little Mandibuzz up there on the top right. Uh, we're going to lead with Infernape. We are focused Sash Nape. Uh, as he chooses to lead with his Landorus, I am just going to get up Stealth Rocks right here. That seems perfectly fine to me. He goes for a U-turn. That is not banded damage. I wish we would have calc that in the last game to figure that out. But... I uh, choose to go into Starmie, good play. It is offensive Starmie, so I don't want to really play around with this thing uh, in front of me here. I think I just need to go directly into Klefki. Even if he goes for the spin, that's fine. Uh, I think he's Life Orb, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So, Life Orb, Analytic, Hydro Pump is going to hurt. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play rough this thing. Instead of going for a spike, which would make uh, him go uh, last and hit us a lot harder, 
I went for a play rough to be able to nullify some of the damage. And now I can actually either go for a Thunder Wave or... Uh, seeing as this thing is analytic, I am going to Thunder Wave it. I'm going to paralyze it and cripple it for the rest of the game. My opponent chooses to go for a Thunderbolt. We're going to miss out on a little bit of... Um, of spike damage, but it's okay because there are two Pokemon. The biggest threats on the team basically are uh, elevated or uh, off the ground, so that's fine. Um, I think my best play here is actually just to go into uh, for Alligator and fire off a waterfall because I don't think that the Toxicroak would come in on a potential ice punch. And yeah, let's just go into Gator and let's just fire off a waterfall right here. We're going to take out the Starmie. We're not going to take any recoil. That's basically why I wanted to go into this thing was because it basically forces in something that can take it out, like the Thunderous or this thing, uh, and it doesn't take any damage as well while going for that in the process. So, uh, Fighting move is more than likely coming my way. This thing could also be a nasty plot variant, which would be extremely scary. Um, Infernape's pretty good here. I think it can take any one hit. Yeah, I'm going to switch into Infernape. And my opponent's going to go for a Swords Dance. Now, the thing is, Sucker Punch does not kill me. I actually resist it. And Overheat is super effective because of the dry skin, if that's what he's rocking. So, I'm going to fire off an Overheat here. My opponent makes the correct play of switching out into Landorus. However, this is a special move, and this is going to hit very hard. And my opponent went for uh, U-Turn, Turn 1. But we were faster, so got to take that into account. I'm going to switch into Mana Buzz here. Seems like a good overall switch. Chooses to go for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We will just go for the Defog right here, get rid of them. He goes for a U-Turn, that's fine, once again. Uh, what item are we rocking again? Leftovers, yeah, that's good. And uh, Clef Key is more than likely coming in here. Nope, Thunderous, all right. Uh, we're able to get rid of the rocks, and I have a direct check to, v uh, to uh, Thunderous and Venusaur, but we're not Mega Evolved yet, so I can't exactly pull the trigger on that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna actually have to go for the Foul Play here. Uh, and hope, uh, oh, okay, well, my opponent switches out into Toxicroak, actually, is going to take a huge foul play, uh, and if he wants to Swords Dance up, he's going to take an even bigger one, but I'm actually going to go for Brave Bird. My opponent chooses to go for Gunk Shot, it does 51%, doesn't get the poison, luckily for us, and we're able to Brave Bird and knock out the Toxicroak. So we didn't get to see uh, Toxicroak put in too much work, unfortunately, but uh, that's better for us, so we'll take it. Might be walking away with three wins today, which would be a huge relief. Uh, it's been a very, very long time since I was able to get three wins on an episode, so this is going to be nice. Things are getting better, man. Things are getting better. <laughs> I really like this team that we built together. Shoutouts to Dom, man. What, uh, what a great what a great session. We, we team built, and Colton, you were there too. Um, we team built, like, what was it, in 15 minutes? Not even. We built this team. It was, it was really good. Uh, I really, really like that, uh, that team building session. I'm going to go for a Roost here. Uh, his Tyranitar is a little bit offensive because it's faster than our Mandibuzz. So I'm going to pressure it out with Infernape. And I think I'm actually just going to go for the Stealth Rocks and get them back up. Uh, now that the Spinner is gone, and that is what we will do. We'll go for the Rocks right here. Should he choose to Stone Edge us, it shouldn't be able to knock us out from this range. We have a lot of HP. We're at 330. So yeah, we should be good to go. Uh, he already knows that uh, Lanaris isn't necessarily a safe switch because of the overheat. Uh, Infernape, I think, has to stay alive uh, due to the uh, the cleft key. So the um, the Lanaris is going to come in right here. Extremely threatening with Earthquake right now. Um, not sure if I can actually switch out on this thing. There's no more hazard removal. Do I need Infernape for anything specifically? The Tyranitar. Because I've, I'll have a hard time taking it out otherwise. Um, I'm going to go into Venusaur here, because Venusaur actually doesn't do too much now. Uh, my opponent's going to go for an Earthquake. It's going to do a good amount, but because we're in the sand, uh, I'm not going to be gaining back enough health with Synthesis to stall this thing out of, uh, out of Earthquakes. So I'm actually going to go for a Sleep Powder right here. My opponent's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Not sure why they don't do much to my team at this point. And now the Landorus is asleep, which is really good. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain right here. Um, I guess if uh, my opponent starts spike stacking with the Clef Key, that could be bad. But we should be able to just switch out into Infernape here with no trouble whatsoever. I really hope my opponent doesn't go for a Play Rough. That would be bad, to say the least. But uh, he actually chooses to go for spikes. Okay, cool. So Overheat is going to do a lot. 
My opponent should know that. And... But I'm gonna go for it anyway. Uh, my opponent goes for a Thunder Wave, paralyzes us, gets the full para, so now we have to play around with that. That's not fun. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Overheat right here. The T-Tar will go down to a Mach Punch. Uh, oh, okay, so Klefki's gone. <laughs> Alright, so no more paras for our... Uh, I'm actually going to try to sweep with uh, for Alligator at this point. Uh, on a sleeping Landorus, hopefully. My opponent will probably choose to go out into uh, Thunderous here. Nope, Titar comes out, okay. Might be thinking I don't have a fighting move, but I do. And it's Mach Punch, so unless this thing is Choppel, it's not taking it. And I'm pretty sure it's not Choppel because... Oh, okay, that took it very well. Uh, goes for Earthquake, knocks us out. So he's probably max speed, but that means for Alligator outspeeds him. Tyrantrum can clean this game. I'm going to Negator, and I'm firing off a Waterfall, and then I'm following that up by going into... Uh, he shouldn't switch at this point, I don't think. He can't let me set up with a Dragon Dance. We just win at that point if he does. So I'm going to go for the Waterfall right here, and um, if we take out this T-Tar, then... I mean, if he switches at this point, something is going down. Uh, and if he stays in and we take out the T-Tar, then our Tyrantrum spams uh, Outrage and wins. So, Thunderous chooses to come in. Um, yeah, there's still a... Uh, I have to go for Ice Punch right here because... Okay, so he's not Life Orb. Leftovers, right, 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 okay. Venusaur has to come in here. And I think I have to go for a Sludge Bomb. Yeah. I have to go for a Sludge Bomb. I don't think HP Ice takes us out at this range. He's actually going to go for Nasty Plot, which is very interesting. Uh, we go for the Sludge Bomb right there. And uh, now I think... Hold on, how much is Landorus at? It hasn't killed off a Sleep Turn yet. I need to know if to Defensive Landorus T. Landorus T Defensive. Tyrantrum, do you two hit KO? After an Intimidate? Tyrantrum. Choice Scarf. Yes. Okay. And this thing is Nasty Plot, which means it's probably not Thunder Wave. Which wins us the game. We go into Rantrum here, and we fire off uh, a couple of Outrages. And that should be good. Or do I want to risk the Head Smash? Ah! Uh, nah, I'm going to go for Outrage. I'm better off playing with the uh, two turn versus three turn Confusion than I am with uh, missing a head smash because that could be really bad. Uh, we do get confused on the se on the second turn, unfortunately. When we ha we have to hit this, uh, we do, and we do hit it through. <laughs> Woo! All right, so we got three wins that episode, guys. Really glad this team came through once again. Shout outs to Dom. I'm gonna leave a GG for my opponent in the chat. He's already gone, but that's all good. Uh, big shout outs to Dom, to Colton. I think Adrian might have been there as well. Thank you guys so much for uh, for building this team with me. It's a really fun team to use. Uh, able to utilize it correctly. Uh, once again, the biggest uh, issue with this team is Rotom Wash if you don't get it weakened for, uh, for Alligator, but yeah, man, uh, this is a uh, fun live, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, hit that like button, subscribe. If you want to see more of these, I put out new lives every day of the week, basically, except for Fridays, and uh, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up in the comments as well, let me know what you thought about the episode, and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.